So let's evaluate the following line integrals. First, let's find the contour integral of x minus 2y squared dy, where c, the contour, is parameterized by x equals e to the 2t, y equals e to the t, and t varies between 0 and 2. So this is pretty straightforward in that we give you the parameterization. So it's just a matter of uh, pretty much just plugging in the parameterizations. Um, so we have the contour. We know what x and y are in dy. So we have y is equal to e to the t. Clearly dy is going to be e to the t dt. So dy dt, of course, is just e to the t. So dy is e to the t dt. So we pretty much have everything we need to rewrite this contour integral. So I get the contour integral of x minus 2y squared dy is going to equal to the integral from 0 to 2 of e to the 2t minus 2e to the 2t times e to the t dt. And I think if we uh, just carry out the subtraction, we, we have like terms and parentheses, and we multiply by the et on the outside. Let's see. I'll get the integral from 0 to 2. So e to the 2t minus 2e to the 2t is a minus 1e to the to 2t. And then I multiply that times e to the t. I'm going to multiply a negative e to the 2t times e to the t. I multiply like basis, I'll add the exponents. So I should get a negative e to the 3t dt. And if I integrate this, let's see, I get a negative one third e to the 3t evaluated from 0 to 2. And let's kind of skip a line and give me some space. This gives me a negative one third. If I evaluate at the upper limit, I get e to the three times two minus e to the three times zero. And let's see, that gives me negative one third. And I get e to the sixth minus one. That was pretty straightforward. Um, so in part B, we have the contour integral of x ds. So um, we'll see what that means. Where c is the graph of x equals y cubed, and y varies between 0 and 1. So here you can choose to let your y value equal to t. And if that's the case, then your x is going to be t cubed. And your y, which is t, is going to vary between 0 and 1. Now we could have parameterized on y, but let's just go ahead and write it all in time. And since I have this ds, I know I'm going to need the dx dt and dy dt. So my x dot, uh, dx dt, uh, let's see if x is t cubed, that's going to be 3t squared. And y dot, which is dy by dt, since y is equal to t, it's just going to give me 1. So let's see, if I write out my integral, I know the contour x is just t cubed in ds. Let's write it out. Let's see. So we have the contour. So the time goes from 0 to 1. x is t cubed. And ds is going to be the square root of x dot squared plus y dot squared. So I'll get 9t to the fourth plus 1 dt. So incidentally, this uh, this seems to be a pretty easy uh, integration scheme. So if I just let u equal to the radicand, then du, uh, you can see, picks up the t to the cube dt. So here, let's let u equal 9t to the fourth plus 1, then du by dt. Is going to be 4 times 9, which is 36 t cubed. Or you could write that du, uh, let's say over 36, is going to pick up the t cubed dt. So this integral 
Um, and I, let's go ahead and calculate u at the upper and lower limit so we can just completely transform the integral into u space without writing u evaluated at 1 and u evaluated at 0. So let's actually do the evaluation. So if u is the function 9t to the 4th plus 1, when I plug in 1, I get 9 plus 1, which is 10. And when I plug in 0, I get 0 plus 1, which is 1. So I can write this integral from in u space, from t space in u space, from 1 to 10. And let's see, I get 136 u to the 1 half du. So let's see, u to the 1 half, I get a du all over 36. And let's see, if I carry out the integration, I get 1. 36, and this gives me 2 thirds u to the 3 halves. And I want to evaluate that from 1 to 10. And I think if you plug in the values, um, you evaluate, you know, the, the value at 10 and then uh, the value at 1, you should get 1 over 54 10 to the 3 halves minus 1. And 10 to the 3 halves is just the square root of 10 cubed, or the square root of 1,000.